What's up guys, in today's video, we're going to be reacting to a set of videos that, from what you guys are telling me, are absolutely horrifying, and I mean very scary. Apparently it's called the Boiled One Phenomenon, and uh, this this channel, okay, it's called Dr. Nowhere, and the first video that we're going to be reacting to, okay, I'm going to throw up the thumbnail right now on screen. That looks horrifying. I don't know what that is, but it looks like it stole someone's skin and put it on their face. I don't know. Let's not waste any more time, though. On screen right now, we've got the first video. In this video, though, we're going to react to all of them, so it's going to be a longer video. Get your popcorn, grab some snacks. Let's get into this and give it a watch. All right. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Why is it in my grandma's house? What's up with that wallpaper? It's got, like, TV antennas on its head. What is going on? Oh. What, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? It's not gonna break. You just give up at this point. You've hit it. All right, somebody. Uh, this guy needs some help. What is he doing? That's that's the whole video. That's the whole video. He's just smacking the screen, trying to get out. He never makes it out. Oh no, the poor fella. Okay, that was pretty funny. Okay, so here on screen we get the next one. This is called "Has This Ever Happened to You?" All the lights. All right, let's go. 52 seconds. Has this ever happened to you? Let's find out. I don't know. What, what is it? I'll tell you right now. It's getting dark outside. Okay, that has you're happened to me. You're getting ready for bed. Yeah. Grabbing a cold glass of water. Yeah, okay, okay. And now you're turning off all the lights in the house. Okay, I wouldn't drink a glass of water because then I have to pee. And I that's just not me, Do you, you know? Do you feel that? What? Or maybe hear that? That what? thinking feeling that something is following you as oh. soon as you turn off the lights? Yes, light. yes. I get that. Well, worry not. You know what's scary? We have a brilliant solution. Oh. <laughs> That's a brilliant... That's what it is, dude. It looks like a meatball. What is it rolling there after me? Nothing that follows there you. Is nothing after that you follows you. The there is nothing in the house. Oh, okay, good. I thought there was something. Oh, okay, good, good, good. I thought there the was house. something following me, but it says right there. There's nothing. That's that's it. That's where that one is. Why does the monster in this one look like a meatball, dude? What is that? It looks like a meatball with eyes. What is going on here? What is that thing? Like I was saying, okay, the one thing that's scary, okay, tell me, tell me if you guys agree, okay? I have an upstairs, right? I go upstairs, turn off the lights. On the way down the stairs, yeah, okay, it feels like something's behind me, like watching me go down the stairs. But that's about it. Now, if it's just a little meatball right here, I wouldn't be too afraid of that. I wouldn't be too scared of that. Maybe a little bit. All right, here we are with the next video. It's called T-O-E, Love Thumper. That sounds like a geometry dash level, but okay, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's the thing. Hello. What? No. What's it saying? What do you want? What do you want? Is it just saying hello? What? Please go away. Heck. Please go away. It's probably trying to escape your grandma's house. Again, that's the same monster. Go. Oh no. It's gonna break out of the screen. Oh, that's a cool... I like that. I like that a lot. That would be horrifying. Oh! Oh, oh that's cool. That's cool. Oh! Oh, it's quick. Oh. Well, that's unsettling. What is that? Ugh. Oh. Uh, it was like entered a little bit. Well, I mean, he's already dead, so. Those hands seem so inconvenient. They really do. What the? I can't tell if we're still alive or if this thing is just staring at our dead body. I think we had like a heart attack. The body appeared untouched. So this one connects to, that's the end of it. This one connects to the first video that we saw when it was trying to like break out. And it looks like, you know, this one, it's like talking to this this person, which I want to know why is it inside the TV and why does it break out like this? But it's talking to this person and it eventually breaks out and kills them and does something. It's got like needles for hands. It's pretty cool looking. I like the design of it a lot. Very, very cool. Okay, so this one's called TOE, Making Friends. And this one's a little bit longer. It's three minutes and 21 seconds. So, uh... See what happens in this. I wonder. If, I'm assuming it's gonna continue the story, right? Yeah. Back inside of a TV again. Time to rise and shine. Why does it look like this takes place in like the back rooms or something? Good children are up bright and early. That does not look bright or early. 
good children play pretend. Yeah, in the corner of the back rooms. Yeah, okay. And they draw on the walls, apparently. Alright. So we know where this is taking place right now. That monster lives there. Good children do not play with their food until it is all gone. Oh, oh, there it was. Good children make friends. Alright, what kind of friends are we talking about here? Oh. Okay. <laughs> that didn't look like a friend. That looked like a heart. What is that? Carter and Dominic are online. Miss their faces? Hello. This is Dominic999. Yo, man, what's up? It's been like forever. Okay. Hmm. Seriously, that seriously thought you were dead or something. Oh, he's dead. Look, we've been online friends for a while now. Yes. Best friend. Oh, oh no, I put the dot in there too. <laughs> this is the monster. Yeah. Hey, look, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately. You've been going through something? If so, I'm here and you can talk to me, man. Okay. He put the dot again. Dot okay. See, he's always. Like I said, it's none of my beeswax and you don't have to say anything, but do you need something? Face call, please. Oh, no. I've heard beeswax in forever. Video call? See, it does steal faces. It's like almost 1 a.m. where I am, man. Whack time zones, remember? Please, now. Oh, no. Seriously, are you good? Like I said, I I'm here if you want to talk. I know you started that new school recently and it was whack. Okay, yes. Dot talk face. Hey, no, seriously, I can't. Oh, no. Really sorry, but tomorrow, okay? Please, let me friend. So if it gets on your screen and you FaceTime it or whatever, Seriously, are, are you alright, Dom? That gives it the option to break out and kill you. Please, please, and steal your face. Seems like it. That's creepy, man. So he must have been contacted by this thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Please, 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 please. Not cool, man. What the heck? Okay, okay. Please, just be as quiet as possible, like whisper. Yes. Oh, no. My mom's a light sleeper, remember? Starving. Dot help, please. What? Oh my gosh. Don't. Don't do it. Oh no. Nah, though I swear if this is a weird heckin' prank, hated those. They were never fun. Yeah, this is the prank where they steal your skin from your face and wear it. <laughs> Incoming video chat request. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, come on. Hang up. Hang up before he breaks through. None of it makes any sense. Everything inside was gone. What? That's it. That's where it ends. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that, 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 that that's how this thing works, though. You basically, it FaceTimes you or calls you in video chat, and then it gets inside of your monitor, whatever, and breaks out into the real world and then kills you and then goes on to the next person that calls it, right? That's what it seems like, at least, but... Maybe I'm wrong. So on screen right now, this is the one that I've heard the most about, all right? The boiled one phenomenon. This is the reason that we're here. This is a 10 minute long video, and apparently this gets dark. Like, I, I hope it expands on the, the lore of that monster, though. Let's go. All following media, oh, okay. Uh, mild to severe, okay, hazardous conditions. What? What? <laughs> what are we about to witness right now? Make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Earplugs, a pencil, a sheet of paper, a standard Christian Bible open to 9110. I don't I don't have half of that. I don't actually I don't have any of that. <laughs> I don't have a single one of those things. Okay. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues, tangible to the naked ears, insert your earplugs and turn to your pencil and paper. What am I about to watch? Write the following on the page. I can see this paper. I can see my hand. I can hear the screaming of thousands. I can't hear the feast. I am moving, breathing human being on planet Earth. Oh. After those words are written, recite that out loud. If memories and images or imagery of something unholy persist, at any three, in the event you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You will be administered anesthetics. Uh, many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. Oh, no. I don't like this. I do not like this. The Boiled One Phenomenon. August 13th, 2003. Tree of Heaven. Dang, 2003, I was like five. In the late 1990s, a new classified, a now classified document 
Woodland-based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland plants and animals and was... Hold on, I gotta read, Dude, I got It goes by... It was primarily directed towards children. Okay, that doesn't sound bad. The star of the show, a narr narrator, would talk about the wonders of nature, the dangers of it, how to appreciate it, and most importantly, how to protect yourself. Unfortunately, in early 2001, the program would be taken off the air due to the host passing away. Hmm. Then something odd happened. Why'd he pass away? On August 13, 2003, the 13th episode of the series began a rerun, seemingly out of nowhere. The following audio recording depicts the beginning segments of the episode. Video footage taken from episode 3, 6, 8, 10, 13. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest to find a plant that's as beautiful as it is deceptive. Poison oak. Ooh. We all know about it. Yep. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something to look out for. Okay. And here on hmm. we aim to uncover all the wonderful secrets that nature has to offer. So that was the name of the no show. No matter how minuscule or gigantic. So let's get going, shall we? All right. I mean, so far, this doesn't sound that bad, dude. We're going to go check out some... Found primarily in deep North American woodlands. Poison oak has many different names and places of origin. Also referred to as the Tree of Heaven. The Imagine Tree that? of Heaven? In China and Taiwan, one of these invasive species made its way to America in the 1700s. It took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. Wait. Wait! During one of the inter interlude segments, an anomalous broadcast would hijack the program. This pro broadcast depicted videos of a red melted face. I spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply dis- I can't- Dude, this face and its properties will be hereby referred to as Phenomenon 228. As Fen 228 spoke, clips of footage and footage of the even live- Hold on, hold on. I gotta pause. Like, it goes by way too fast. Uh, spoke clips of footage and even live camera feed monitoring hospitals and bedrooms would be occasionally overlaid on the screen, obscuring Fen 228's face. Okay. Though most remembered speaking English, multiple non-English speaking viewers remembered understanding every word that was spoken. Oh, so it like... The following clip is a restored recording of the anomalous broadcast. The duration of this clip has been shortened, and the audio has been muffled, reversed, and dampened. These alterations are obviously necessary to suppress its hazardous attributes as effectively as possible. For maximum safety... <laughs> Who do they think is reading this? Who do they... <laughs> Look, you can see it's the most replayed part. I wonder why. Uh, for maximum safety, watch with blue light glasses and insert your earplugs. Uh, buddy, I don't got either of those, so we're going in. <laughs> oh no. What? What does it say? I have no idea. That thing is hideous, though. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. That's my bedroom. <laughs> this broadcast will be hereby referred to as broadcast 81813. Whoa. Was viewed by roughly 530 residents throughout the southern Pennsylvania area and upon viewing left many severely distraught. Aside from the discomfort and paranoia television presence had brought to the viewers, there were other side effects that these viewers experienced that were highly unnatural. Many viewers report not being able to keep the image of the thing's face out of their mind. Some even continue to hear its voice days after viewing. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Another described trumpets playing through his ears. Okay. None of these people knew that this was only the beginning. The beginning of a whole new species of suffering that would never be fully understood. No. August 14th, 2003. The Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. After the anomalous frequency was detected by television stations, the NR NERC was ordered by- I know it's gonna go by too fast- ordered by the Afrata branch to have all power grids local to the state of Pennsylvania disabled by 4 p.m. to prevent further escalation of the anomaly and the public knowledge of Broadcast 813. Hmm. Interesting. So they tried to shut it all down. The outage ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada as well, creating the famous Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. Almost 50 people, 50 million people were without power, some not getting it back until days late, later. During the confusion caused by the outage, all traces of broadcast 813 were collected by the branch and seemingly wiped from existence, including news articles in the works from the morning after the broadcast, internet posts, recordings, and more. 
So they wiped this thing. The cause of the blackout was promptly covered up and claimed to have been a combination of human error and the result of trees falling onto the sagging power line somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. But the damage had been done. You know, those poor children that saw this aftermath. 12 days after broadcast, A13 was blocked from the air. A historical massive influx of coma? occurred throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families something. Uh, coma is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experiences a... Uh, okay, who... Dude, who do they think is reading this? What? Okay, um, something disconnection, leaving them to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due, complete, due to complete paralysis of... Oh, so, wow, that sounds horrifying. Except for uh, eye movements and blinking. That's scary. This anomalous outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the U.S. Department of Health. It was put under government investigation immediately. One thing in common with all these cases is that the patients had been at home watching TV the night of the broadcast 813 was aired. Uh, oh, look, there he was. <laughs> you guys saw that? Though the victims of the outbreak were unable to speak, they were able to communicate through Morse code by blinking. More than 60 victims were interviewed. Many of these interviews held un unavailing results that often led to more questions, and many others held results that required archival or termination. However, fairly late into the investigation, the Afrata branch was notified of a particularly odd case revolving around one Job Zamperini, an elder victim of the anomalous outbreak. Um, Job Zamperini specifically requested... <laughs> Dude, what what is up with this? This is ruining it because I have to pause. His ally is to be used in future records instead of his real name, which will remain classified. Okay. Man, they need next time they do one of these, they need to slow it down. Zamprini was a war vet and fluent in Morse code, putting him on the mask on, on on the mark as a potential interviewee as soon as the outbreak was put under investigation. After, after a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. This led them to contact a local priest in hopes his house would be blessed. The following photo depicts 228 standing next to the small playhouse in his backyard. The photo itself has proved to be non-hazardous and safe to view, though this though still anomalous in nature for, for, more comfor for most comfortable viewing experience, where blue light glasses are viewed from a distance of three feet or more. Okay, hold on. I gotta go back three feet. Okay, that, that should be good. That should be good. Okay. Guys, back away three feet. You never know. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a joke. Okay. Whoa. That's cool. That's very cool. That was in my backyard, dude. I gotta give him a hug. Uh, Zamprini claimed something horrible and unholy was with him and would hurt him and possibly others if described it and what it was telling him. Oh, if he described it. Following is a recovered, previously archived recording in which Officer Gomez of the branch interviews Job Zamprini. Ooh. We got an interview with him. Hello, Mr. He looks dead, I'm dude. Officer Gomez. <laughs> oh, that's right. doing well today. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition and possibly um, unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned? Translation sequence. Oh. Okay, ask. first and uh, foremost, did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? Let's see what he says here. So he's blinking right now. Face, there was a face. Huh? Hmm. When did you begin seeing this face? He's blinking really fast right now. After I saw it on TV, it never left me. Many of the people who have seen the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? Hmm. No, it is Can in you the please window. describe this face to me? What the... Horribly burnt knot of Lord... I, uh, I still don't see it. Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? Hmm. I'm sorry to I hear, hear that. screaming of many voices. Are these screams constant? That is horrifying. At night before sleep, I hear... Wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Did that say... But, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It said something, didn't it? It said something. At night before I sleep, I hear trumpets, too. But then, look, it's like a different set of braille right there, or whatever that is. Um, interesting. If you guys know what that says, let me know. Thank you. You shed light secret. on this is helping more than you know. Oh. I can see you. Oh, there he is! Oh my gosh. What are you doing over there, little guy? What are you doing over there? 
How'd you do that, by the way? This reminds me of like Pennywise. If you guys have ever seen the original It, or like, you know, they're looking at the photo book. Oh, wonderful day, the miracle of birth. A fetal fanfare. Okay. You know in Pennywise though? Closely. Oh finally, I can understand it. Yes. Kinda sound like critical. A little bit moist critical. Hear the trumpets play their happy sounds. The stronger blood of life will pour down onto us all. Together, we will be still. Together, a feast for food. Together, melded by oh, love what is and that? connection. Be Put that still. away! What is that? <laughs> what did you just do? What was that? Warning, if you can see this screen, it means it is not safe to continue viewing. The program will end shortly. All right. Protocol 228 has been initiated. Perform the procedures given to you during the introduction portion of this video immediately. Okay, I got my headphones on. I got my pencil. Uh, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. And that is it. That's where it end. That, that was that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome, if you ask me. I really like that. That was cool. Now, here's the deal, though. Six days ago, they just uploaded another video. And this one's called The Boy in the Bath. Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Your body remains unclean from the toils of yesterday. Oh, what is this? You were in no condition to sleep like this. Okay. A shower will make you better. What time is it? That's like, uh, 1 something a.m.? Yeah. 110. Wait, do I have a baby? Was that not a crib? Where's the baby at? What the? Who opens a door like this? <laughs> oh, it's like a video game. But it wasn't my fault. What? All right, buddy, get in the shower. Come on, what are you doing? Get over there. Over the door, why does he do it? Oh, another one? What the? Yeah, showering in the void. Why do you leave me here? Hmm. What the? I never adjusted to you. Never adjusted to you. It's just like, I'm not dealing with this right now. It's 1am, buddy. I'm not dealing with you right now. Just closes the door. Oh my gosh. That's why we haven't showered. Alright, buddy. I know you heard me. Get out of the crib! It was all your fault. Oh, are they trying to say like this is our kid? And what's it called? The boy in the bath. That's where it ends. So I wonder if this is like our son or something, because it, I don't know what this has to do with a shower, but look, it like gets inside of the, the crib, which I think that's like, isn't that, that looks like a baby crib or something like that. So I wonder if something happened with the shower and this thing and uh, it died or something that we left it. I, I don't know. Very weird. Very creepy. All right, well, guys, that was the Boiled One Phenomenon and some other videos by this creator. They're, they're really good. I like this a lot. The stories on these are fantastic. Um, everything about them is really well made. And I think, I want to say it says they're like 17 years old, which is very impressive. Very, very impressive. This is cool. So if you guys want to check them out, please do. I'll link in the description down below. Go show them some support. Go subscribe to them if you liked what you saw in this video because obviously they'll upload the video way before I'll react to it. So be sure to go sub to them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.